Today, I'm so excited because I would like to talk to you about narcissism behind the world of coaching. I've seen so many coaches out there that they are looking for people to join the group. I want you to really understand the characteristics of a good coach. Okay, the first characteristic that you need to search is on what is their background. I know that a lot of people go through situation and they become a master giving you direction on things that they consider they will be a good coach for you and I'm fine with that. But it's not only a coaching. When you develop this career, you also have to understand that there's some other things that you need to keep in mind. For example, when you schedule a breakthrough call with someone, uh, the way that you're going to treat your clients, uh, you have to be polite. You, you have to have heart. You have to understand your customer. You have to understand a little bit more about sales, understand about how to treat other people. Especially when we are talking as a coach, it's because we have experience. It's because we already um, are capable to give advice to someone else. And that's great. But to be up there and behave inappropriate, that's not good for anyone in this business. So a lot of people right now are in need of advisable or maybe they want a better life maybe they want to improve their their quality of life and we are here to help to help those people that are in need but when we offer our service we have to be careful the way that we explain the program or the way that we are selling our coaching business and one of the characteristics that you can identify in a good coach is the way that they talk to you. Check their profile. Make sure that this person is qualified to accomplish what they promise you. That's number one. Another characteristic is if you speak with that coach and you find out in your first call that this person is egocentric, this person is only talking about himself, this person is just uh, showing themselves that they are the only one that can get things done, or maybe that they don't need help from no one else, be careful. Watch that. Because we all are human. At some point of our life, we all need help. And you can be someone that knows everything. Uh, you have to be sensitive. You have to have um, empathy for other people, compassion for other people, especially when we are a coach. I know that some of you are going through a struggle when you're trying to pick a good coach and you don't know how to do it. And the first person speaking with you, that will be the one. And that's not it. So one of my strategies is usually uh, interview with three people at least, and then out of those three, do your own research and then pick the person that you are feeling more comfortable to speak to, to be open to speak to, and someone with compassion that really put their feet in your shoes and that person can understand you. Another characteristic is someone that doesn't have empathy, is someone that doesn't feel your struggle, someone that uh, they just want to make the sale, they just want to you know, see the money coming in, maybe promoting all over the place that they are millionaire and they, they, they don't need you. And my question to those uh, coaches or those people that are trying to sell themselves that way, my question is, if you are a coach and you are a multimillionaire coach, what are you doing making call phone personally to people as well as spending your time 1, 2 a.m. in the morning chatting or talking with someone. So be careful with those things. Well, they just want to get you into the program and that's it. This theory of, you know, uh, if you want it, you want it. If not, get out. Uh, I think this doesn't apply because you are a human and you need and you deserve a good service. So be careful with that. Another characteristic is uh, people that would like to control you. So if you enter into the call with a coach, the open of the call is important. Uh, if they want, they are interested also in you, where you are, uh, 
you know, things that make you feel that you identify with that person. So those calls that people jump into the call and say, what do you want? Do you have the money to make the investment? Do you have $10,000? Do you have $20,000? So maybe $2,500 to jump into the program. Be careful with that because those people are just looking for your money. And, and social media are full of those people. That's why I decide today to put this video and make you aware of the narcissism behind the, the coaching world. And I know that coaching is a great way to do business, it's a great way to connect with other people, but the right way is someone with empathy, someone that feel, you know, someone that really understands you. And that's why I follow the masters. So if you want to, it's easy, get on Google and type uh, top coaches in the world. You're going to find a couple of names in there, just to mention Tony Robbins, Brandon Bouchard, Dean Graciosi. I mean, there's so many masters in coaching that you can see the way that they speak with people and the way that they make you feel. Once you identify how they speak with other people and the way that should be, then you will be able to connect with people and find out which one uh, can really guide you and take you to the next level. Um, another experience that I went through as well is one of my clients that she contacted me as she were telling me about, you know, how frustrated she was because a lot of coaches, they just want the money. Yes, there's, there's a huge uh, business that opened up after the COVID because, because everything closed out. A lot of professionals are up there and they don't know how to start their online businesses. And one of the easiest way was to identify what is your your strength and then become a, a pro and then teach other people. I got that and I have nothing against this, but what I have against this is if you want to become a coach, also learn about how to treat your client, how to engage people, how to make commitment with them and achieve their goal and, and, and make their priority your priority. So that to me, that is the most important. So if you are a coach, if you are up there, uh, selling yourself and trying to bring people into your program. I'm not talking about competition. Honestly, we don't have many competition because everyone is different. So you and I, we can have rapport. You can maybe feel comfortable speaking with me. Maybe you like my accent. Maybe you like how open I am. Maybe you like my patience. Maybe you like how, you know, how strong I am. And that's what makes me unique. So that's something that I follow from my, my top coach, which is uh, Dean Graciosi. And he mentioned about, you know, you are unique. You are you. But please add to those skills, add sales, add customer service, add relationship. How do you build relationship with your client first? How do you going to treat people? Because you can become a coach telling people what to do in a wrong way making people offended or making them that they are not able to pay what you what your program cost and i'm saying this because a lot of coaches have program starting from five hundred dollars to ten thousand thirty thousand a hundred and fifty thousand dollars and that's understandable but don't make it look that you know your program is thirty thousand dollars and you cannot afford that program. And because of that, uh, you're gonna be out of the call. Or maybe because of that, you're gonna be uh, directing to someone that can do it cheaper than you. This is not correct. I've been in business since so long, and I've been in sales for over 20 years. I've been building interpersonal business relationships since, since many years. And I know exactly how to uh, have compassion, how to make other people that this is the right place and you are making the right decision. Don't bring people in just twitching their mind and making them feel that they are lowest than you and that's why they need to come and join the program. That's not the right way to sell, okay? If you really have passion for coaching, do it the right way. That's my best advice. But don't start going up there telling people that you are multimillionaire and you have a lot of money and they want to become like you. Because let me tell you something. Money is not a motivator for everyone. You can motivate certain people by money, but 
a lot of people you can motivate them just by simply smiling by simply telling them what they need being compassion and telling what they need in a good manner how to pick a healthy coach and not a narcissism coach so be careful with that and i can't wait to see you in my next video bye bye